Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Lethal company is having an issue with error occurred, connection error or multiplayer and connectivity issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this. The first one is all about we have to do a restart on your PC. So just go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go for restart, once restart is done try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what we have to do as the first and foremost step if that is not working do not worry we'll move to the second step that is all about we have to launch the game that is what we have to do so try launch the game not from the steam but from the installation folder so what we need to do is just go over here right click and go to the properties now go for install it file and just click on the browse so when you click on the browse if you go back over here in the background we can see at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, the lethal company and the game is over here in the C drive. So you can launch the game from here. So sometimes launching the game from the Steam will not be working. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder and that is what we have to do. So try launch the game from here and that will be working fine in most cases. So try this step as well. If that is not the case, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to try the next one that we have to make sure the date time region and time zone everything is correct so we need to go over here go over here in the search and navigate to settings just go to settings now from here first go to time and language go for date and time make sure the time zone time and everything this should be correct this should be correct and this should be correct this all has to be turned on and also you can go for sync now this is what also you have to do you can just go for a sync now as well so try clicking on this one sync now and you can try if this is all turned on and the time zone is correct time zone automatically is everything is correct and even the sync now is correct you're fine with it you don't have to worry anyone anything just move to the fourth step fourth step is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to window security which is a very important step so just go over here, let me go over here and search for the control panel. Now from here we have to navigate to uh, net, uh, we have to navigate to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to L, hence it is an alphabet, keep scrolling down and make sure the lethal company is already added and also you have to make sure both the private and public both has to be marked which is very important so you have to mark both private and public so in some cases some users state the game is not here so if that is the case what we have to do so i'll be showing you this just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse now go for this pc navigate to local disk c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam and we have to go for steam apps go to common now from here go to lethal company select this one and go for open and we have to go for add so i'm getting the error because the game is already there if the game is not here this is how you can add it by default once you add this just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one we have to disable the manual proxy so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to settings now from here navigate to uh, network and internet now from here go to proxy Make sure this is turned it off. So as you can see, it is turned it off. We have to turn off the proxy automatically. Should be turned it off, which is very important. Once afterwards, if it is turned on, turn this off. Once afterwards, try launching the game. Still, if you are having the issue, next one we have to run few commands in the CMD. So I'll be providing these commands in the description. So you don't have to worry. We are having these commands over here. So these are the commands. So we have to run these one by one. So let me go over here for search for CMD. Click on run it as an administrator, go for yes. Now from here as you can see we have to go for the first one, that is we have to go for IP config flash DNS. So just copy this, paste it and press enter. Next one we have to go for IP config release, we have to copy this, paste it, press enter. Next one that is IP config renew, just copy this and we have to paste, press enter. If that is not uh, fine with it, we have to go for next one that is net sh windsock reset. So just copy and paste it, press enter. 
Once afterwards, we have to go for the next one that is net SHINT IP reset. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Press enter. Next one that is net search interface IPv4 reset. So just copy this and we have to paste it. Press enter. Next one that is uh, we have to go over here net search interface IPv6 reset. So just copy this and paste it. We have to go for next one that is net ch interface ip tcp reset so just copy this and we have to press so once everything is successfully done just close everything go over here do a restart once the restart is done once afterwards try launching the game next one we have to make a network reset this even worker because we are having connectivity issue right so just go to the settings now from here we have to now go to network and internet now from here go to advanced network settings so over here if you go for there is an option called network reset so when you do this you have to keep in mind when you do this you you will be uh, disconnected from the wi-fi and you have to connect it back once again given the password so you have to make sure that you know the password of your wi-fi and you have to connect it back this even work it because uh, the connectivity issue multiplayer connectivity issue even the error occurred all these are related to the network so try, you can also try this possibility, this might work as well. Next one is all about nothing but we can try switch to a different network. So as you can see, if I go over here in the Wi-Fi and click on this one, I'm not only having this particular Wi-Fi, there are a few more connections available. So what I need to do is I need to try, keep this, disconnect this and try connecting to a new network. Maybe the issue might be with some kind of issue or bugs can be in my Wi-Fi as well. So that is that may be causing the issue up. So try connecting to the multiple networks and if anyone is working fine, apparently you are fine with that. Next one is all about we have to update the windows. So just go over here, navigate to settings, just go to windows update. So now update the windows, which is very important. And once windows is up to date, just go over here and try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workarounds can be done. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.